My Lords, as a Sikh, I'm totally opposed to abortion on any grounds except real and serious danger to the mother's health. And it's important that those who facilitate gender selection abortions should be uh, punished with the full rigor of the law. But, my Lords, laws cannot create good behavior. They can only define the boundaries of unacceptable behavior. We must also look to education in tackling negative and outmoded cultural practices. The Sikh religion is not a religion of strict thou shalt or thou shalt not. Sikh teachings are couched in terms of gentle guidance about what we should or should not do to lead a responsible life. One of the few exceptions is a total condemnation of female infanticide, which sadly was all too common in the India of 500 years ago and was linked to the inferior status of women throughout the world. From the very start of the religion, Guru Nanak taught the dignity and complete equality of women. Sikh women have always been able to lead prayers and occupy any religious position. The 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, gave the name or title core, literally princess, to women to emphasize their dignity and complete equality. A Sikh woman doesn't have to take her husband's name, but remains an individual in her own right. My lords, despite the clarity of such teachings, negative subcontinent culture, for some, even in the Sikh community, leads to discrimination against women and girls. And perversely, it is women that are often responsible, with mothers lavishing uh, extra attention on male children. Even in the West today, a new birth is frequently accompanied by a joyous cry. It's a boy. It's not so long ago that the birth of a girl to royalty was greeted as a national calamity on a par with the loss of a test match. <laughs> we all have to work much harder to fight gender discrimination and gender prejudice through tighter laws and education. Yeah.